what's going on everyone welcome back to my channel and if you do not know my name is Marco and I enjoy sharing and making these videos of my life career and travel experiences with you guys I also like to hear recommendations of where you guys believe I should go next and as if you guys know uh, right now I'm also in the process of my military career with the OCS process but while that is waiting, I am also now in the process of learning how to fly in aviation. So as my last video, I showed you guys on the FAA uh, website and how to get your documents. Right now, I am currently on my way for my first class FAA medical exam. I was scheduled to come today, this morning. Remember, on the website... You have to print out your documentation that you fill out on the FAA website. It's a confirmation that they, the doctor and the nurses will need where you're going to get your AME. And from then on, we'll see what happens. And like I mentioned earlier on my last video, you got three different options. You got first class, second class, or third class of medical exams. So for me, I am trying to get into the aviation program. I just want to go all out and try to see if I can get the first class and then continue my process in learning how to fly and going from there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit as I go and I'm going straight to the medical examiner. So see you guys in a little bit. what's going on guys and I am done and completed with my time at the FAA medical exam uh, with the doctor uh, so yeah like I said I just got done with uh, my medical exam and I got approved as you can see medically medical certificate first class I got approved for my medical and it went well it was very quick I was in and out within about 30 minutes or so all they did was uh, they called me I did my height and weight my vision then after that they took my blood pressure I had to take a urine sample they told me the urine sample it's mainly for uh, it's, not, it's not for a drug test but it's to make sure that you know they observe what's inside your blood system I'm assuming and then after that I met with the doctor and the doctor once again gave me a little eye vision exam as well as a color vision um, went into um, observing my eyesight such as if I had a lazy eye my ears checked my heart rate and um, that was pretty much it he asked me if I had any questions or if I had any concerns and I told him I did not and after he completed that he went filled out the documentation that I had to fill out for them my confirmation he had to do some notifications after that he came back into the room and gave me my medical my medical certificate first class and after that I was completed and I finished off by paying my dues which like I said uh, if you go through the FAA website that I showed you guys on my last video it, it varies it ranges between a hundred to three hundred dollars um, no insurance covers it. You will have to pay out of pocket. I have no idea why But mine cost me hundred and fifty dollars. So just be mindful about that if you want to ask beforehand by all means I knew I was gonna have to pay out of pocket regardless, but you know, I came in and everything worked out well and That's all it is for your medical exam If you have any questions or any concerns on the, the process Please feel free to let me know. Like I said, I'm still fairly new in this new journey of mine, which is uh, learning how to fly in aviation. So, like I said, just drop your comment, ask me, I'll look it up, I'll try to find out, and I'll, you know, as I continue in this process of my new, you know, going into the military still, and then also doing this new aviation, you know, I'll start learning more and more, okay? Here are a few of the third class medical certificate requirements that I found. 
and then some of the things that will disqualify you from obtaining your certificate. Starting with vision, your distant vision must be correctable to 2040 in each eye. Your near vision must be correctable to 2040 or better in each eye when measured at 16 inches. Color vision is the ability to perceive the colors necessary for safe performance of airman duties. This is fairly vague and leaves a lot up for interpretation. But there was also a note that if you fail a color vision test, you can still be issued a third class certificate, but it will read that it's not valid for night flying or by color signal controls. For hearing, you must pass one of the two audiometric tests either a speech, discrimination, or a peer tone test. For vital signs, which include your pulse and blood pressure, ear, nose, and throat, you must not have any condition that interferes with flying, clear communications, or that causes vertigo conditions. And for mental health, you cannot have any type of diagnosis of psychosis, bipolar, or personality disorders. Besides substance abuse and the mental health conditions that I already mentioned, medical disqualifying conditions include angina pectoris, cardiac valve replacement, coronary heart disease, diabetes requiring hypoglycemic medications, disturbance of consciousness without a reason, epilepsy, heart replacement, myocardial infarction, which is also known as a heart attack, a permanent cardiac pacemaker, or transient loss of control, of your nervous system function. So other than that, I'll see you guys next time.